Welcome back to Forex Wolf YouTube channel. Welcome to Forex Wolf Reversal Chart Patterns. We'll be looking into some top four patterns that we use in Forex Wolf. Thank you for the likes and the views that we've been getting for the past few days. We actually appreciate them. We'd love to for you guys to subscribe and follow our series. We'll be giving some chart analysis, some forex psychology, and some advice and theory on the things to use in the market when you're in trouble and trying to make that back. So now let's jump right to it. So now what is a reversal chart pattern? A reversal chart pattern is an event in the market that causes a change in the direction of the current trend. Meaning that if we were from an uptrend and a reversal chart pattern occurred, we would be now in a downtrend. If we were from a downtrend and a reversal chart pattern occurred, we would now be in an uptrend. So now we have types of reversal chart patterns and the very first one out of the four is the bullish double bottom pattern. With the neckline, with the double top formation. Now the neckline is actually used to make a conclusion that we have changed direction. Meaning that if the market was from a downtrend and the neckline was broken, then that means that we'd have confirmation that now we're in an uptrend. The market would have to form a low or two lows, which are two bottoms, that would actually create this thing called a double bottom. So we have two bottoms, that's why we call it double bottom pattern. So now this one is actually used when from, we're from a downtrend and now we're entering into an uptrend. We have bearish double top pattern. Pattern is actually used when we're from a uptrend or an uptrend. Top is formed or a high is formed and we have two tops which are created or two highs or higher highs since we'd be from an uptrend. The neckline is used for confirmation to actually say that yes, we have changed direction now we're going into a downtrend. Now we have the bridge, the bearish head and shoulders. This pattern is actually used when we're from an uptrend and we are going to reverse. As I said, that these patterns are used for reversal from an uptrend now to a downtrend. Now we have a shoulder. This is called the left shoulder, this is called the head, this is called the right shoulder. This is the neckline, this is the confirmation. The candlestick right here broke below this neckline and now we have confirmation that we'll be going into a downtrend. We have a bullish head and shoulder, which is the same kind of theory, the same concept as the previous one. This is the last pattern. So now we would be from a downtrend and then a left shoulder would be created and a head would be created and a shoulder would be created and this is the right shoulder. Now this neckline, once it's broken and actually candlesticks come back and retest that line, then we have confirmation that now we're in an uptrend. Now we have double top example. That is actually Volatility 25 index, which is the one I specialize in. Wolf specializes into indexes. Now the market actually formed a, an uptrend. Price came, wasn't able to break this point three times. We'd have two highs. This one is also a high, but since we're focused more on the variation of a double top, a reversal occurred and the market is now in a, in a downtrend. It would slightly or mostly be here at this point right here, or would be here as this would be some sort of a retest to the neckline. Now, we have a double bottom example. The market came from a downtrend, formed two lows, and after reversal occurrence, the market gets into an uptrend, meaning that our interest would be somewhere at that point or somewhat at that point, meaning that we'd be more focused on buying. The bullish head and shoulders example. As I said that we'd have a left shoulder, a head, a right shoulder, and the breakout. <clears throat> the breakout, which is at this point, the neckline. By breakout, I mean that the market broke out with this candlestick of the eight hour, meaning that this is there's a lot of momentum that we have to the upside. And now we have a bearish head and shoulders example, which is a an opposite or an inverse, because they're actually inverses to one another. So now we have an uptrend, we've created a left shoulder, we have a head, and we have a left right. Market now is in a downtrend after the, after the reversal occurred. Now these things, if I give a tip, is that mostly focus on actually knowing how they are formed, then actually cramming how they are formed. Because in as you can see on the slide, that we have a variation that is slanted, or is exactly the same as that one. But sometimes it might actually be slanted at a higher angle 
or at a absolute horizontal angle so now it actually depends on the application that's what we teach in our course or in our strategies that focus more on applying than actually cramming out to do things and yeah so this is your boy wolf we went through some examples we went through some theory and what they are and thank you we hunt bears and bulls and we actually enjoy what we do we love what we do please hit the subscribe button please hit the bell icon so you can get most of our content and we'll be posting daily and thank you what's up